Hooray for Hollywood That screwy ballyhooey Hollywood Where any office boy or young mechanic Hey there. Happy New Year. Well, I'm here because I want to talk to you about a movie that I think you need to see. It's the holiday movie season and I've been to see, oh, many movies over the past two weeks. Some are Oscar contenders, some are Golden Globe contenders, but there's one that I really think you need to see because it's funny and it's sweet and it's charming and it's gotten a lot of press and you've probably heard about it. What is it? Juno. Now, why do you need to see Juno? Well, there are three reasons why you need to see Juno. Uh, no, not just because it's about a pregnant teen and it's topical. No, I'm not just that. Okay, first of all, the writing. The writing is funny and very witty. And you know what? It's written by an ex-stripper. Yeah, go figure. Diablo Cody is the screenwriter of Juno. And she's this young gal who apparently worked as an exotic dancer for about a year and wrote about her experiences in a book called Candy Girl. Candy Girl. And she apparently also had a blog with a name that has to do with the female part of the anatomy, but I'm not going to go into that right now. But she got a book deal from working as an exotic dancer, and then from that, she got a screenwriting deal and wrote Juno, which is now up for Oscars, and I believe she's up for a gold. You know what? I'm doing this the wrong way. I'm like trying to blog and do all this and trying to. Wait a minute. I know. Hold on. I know it's in here somewhere. Seriously, I've seen it before. There, I just had an idea. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, check it out. All right, here, let me get it up close to the cam. Oop, I'm a little backwards here, sorry. Okay, here it is. Let me get it up to the camera now. See that right there? What does that say? Pleasure Girls. Nice. And what's the other one? Uh, apparently the other one doesn't have a name. It's just called Open Daily. Nice. Okay, what do we got? Oh, they got a number here. Hmm. But it doesn't say anything about work and then become a screenwriter. I don't see... Oh, this one says No Door Fee and... No, t no tipping? What the heck? Hmm, pleasure girls. www.partiesgirls.com Hmm, what do you think? Oh, that's, I don't think it's going to work. It's not that I really have an aversion to stripping per se, but um, it's winter time and I get, I get cold easily. So forget that. I'll keep doing the vlog. So, um, okay, the writing. And there are lines in there that are so funny. And afterward, we went with a couple other people and we were laughing about them afterward. We were wanting to say these funny lines and the scenes. And like I said, it's realistic, but there are funny things. And you want to repeat them afterward and you laugh and chuckle. Okay, number two, the acting. Okay, it's got a lot of familiar faces in it, but no real huge big name stars, which I kind of like. It's kind of got that um, Little Miss Sunshine vibe, which is good. That's in a good way. So we've got a couple actors that I want to mention that are standouts. First, J.K. Simmons. Who's that? J.K. Simmons. Don't know him. Yes, you do. You've seen him in a million things. He was in Superman. He was, he's uh, been on Law & Order. He played a psychologist for a long time, or a psychiatrist, whatever they are. And he is now on the show Closer with Kira Sedgwick on USA or one of those networks that lets all the women have all the shows. And um, he's really good. See? Look, you recognize his face. I know you do. Okay, second, he plays, I'm sorry, Juno's dad. And he is so caring and funny and quirky and supportive and lovable. He's still kind of gruff, but he's he's very lovable. Okay, then the next one, Allison Janney. And she, you know her, she was on West Wing. And she plays Juno's stepmother. And you know what? She's one of the few stepmothers in American cinema that you don't hate and want to boo and hiss and throw things at. She's kind of quirky and she's not fully like loving like oh darling darling but she is funny and oh my gosh she has a scene with the uh, ultrasound technician that's given Juno the ultrasound hilarious by the way okay and then a couple other actors that that I want to point out Michael Cera who's so cute and he was in Superbad over the summer and he plays Polly Bleeker who is Juno's baby daddy and he's uh, so sweet and very charming, and their scenes together are very 
realistic and very sweet. And no, you start off, she's already pregnant. You don't see any of that stuff, but it's very sweet. And he wears this high school track uniform throughout almost the entire movie. And that, worth the price of admission. Hilarious. And he's so funny. Polly Bleeker. I mean, come on, his name. Enough. And then one last thing. The main reason to see Juno, Ellen Page. She plays Juno, and she's a Canadian actress who I'm sure you've probably never seen before. And she is Juno. She embodies this girl. She is bitter and funny and dry and cute and snarly, and she has great lines. She has all the best lines. And you know what? She is the girl that you wish was your best friend in high school. That's who she is. Well, except for the pregnant part. I went to Catholic school. So, okay. Acting. What do we say? Writing, acting. And number three, hamburger fun. Hamburger fun? Yes. Juno has a hamburger phone. When is the last time or ever that you saw a hamburger phone in a movie? In a movie that's probably going to be up for an Oscar. Hello. Thank you very much. I want one. Don't you want a hamburger phone? Don't you want to talk and say, like, McDreamy? I mean, I, I just want to call somebody on it. I just want to do something. Anyway, so writing, acting, hamburger phone. Those are reasons to go see Juno. And it's playing right now. And I'd love it if you... Let me know. Go see it. Let me know what you think. I... What? She's on the phone right now? No, no. That's all right. That's all right. Hang on one second. No, no. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hi, Jamie Lynn. No, no, no. That's okay. I'm not busy. What do you need? What? Where's your mama? Oi, she's still trying to write that book? Okay, all right. No, 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 that's all right. Where's Brittany? No, 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 never mind. I'm sure I'll read about it tomorrow on the internet. Never mind, never mind. No, 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 that's okay. I can get it. I can get it. What do you need? Yes, I can get it. Okay, just tell me. Yes, I'm writing this down. Funyuns. Okay. Red Bull. Twinkies. Twizzlers. Nair? Why do you need that? Never mind. Never mind. Okay, hon. Yes. No, don't worry about it. Okay. I will get it. You just take care of yourself. Yes, I will be there shortly. Okay. Why don't you calm down? Why don't you turn on the TV and see if there's something... I bet there's got to be NASCAR or I think there's like a Dukes of Hazard marathon or something on. There you go. Okay. All right. I'll see you shortly. Bye-bye. Well, apparently Jamie Lynn is having a few cravings. And her mama is busy working on her book. And Brittany, not answering her cell phone. Huh, go figure. So I'm gonna run to the 7-Eleven and I gotta get some stuff over to her. So why don't you check out Juno and I'll go take care of this pregnant teen. And then uh, let me know what you think. All right, happy new year. Bye-bye.